Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yay! Shh. Even with the holiday in the middle of the week, it's nice to get to Friday. It is. Friday is just a lovely day. It's nice. How was your workout? Workout was good. Yeah? Yeah, I did uh, shoulders and biceps and abs. Okay. Yeah, so I got a lot done. How was the gym? Uh, cried it when I first got there, and by the time I left, I was like one of three people in the back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So everybody said it was Friday. Yeah. I did cardio today, so I stayed home, and I used the AMT machine that we have here at home, the cardio equipment we have at home, which I really enjoy sometimes because then I can do my cardio, but then I have some extra time of just quiet. I got to meditate a little bit, which was nice. So that's what I did today. Um, what are you going to have for breakfast? You have no breakfast out. Yeah, I had some other things I had to do first. We're going to have oatmeal this morning. Okay. With all the usual, you know. All the usual suspects, suspects in your oatmeal? Yes, absolutely. I don't know what I'm going to eat yet. I'm, I'm not feeling eh, so I don't know. I might have a potato with some hummus. But you I, made a nice batch of hummus I yesterday. I did. I made hummus yesterday. Good turned stuff. turned out really well. Good stuff. So I did that. Um, I, you know, maybe I'll have something else. I don't know. I, I'll figure it out. I'll have something. But we spent this week talking to you about processed food, and so as we do um, every Friday, I wanted to do a wrap-up so that those of you who missed a day can get at least the overview and you can pick which days you want to go back to. I also have a bonus topic because I had five processed food topics I wanted to cover, so at the end I'm going to do oh. um, a bonus about processed food. I did not know that. You didn't know that. Guess what? Surprise! 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 <laughs> surprise! Um, so we started out with what is processed food, and talk, tell them about kind of what your definition of processed food is. Uh, well, I'm, I'm probably more hardcore processed food than you are. Mm -hmm. I think processed food is anything that is not actually the way it comes out of the ground, or you know, we, we talk mostly about plant food, so mm -hmm. that's what I'll say. So to me, um, <sighs> even drying it, cooking it, anything. If we're doing it, then it's not processed. Okay. That's different. If I'm, I'm talking about how you get it, how you receive it. Okay. So if it's in a package already cooked, then it's processed. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get an example. I'm drawing a blank here. Dried mangoes. Dried mangoes are processed. See, and so yeah. for me, I consider processed food a little differently. I'm not quite as hardcore about it. For me, as long as all that's been done to it is it's been either, you know, dried or peeled or, you know, something... I don't like dried mangoes. I'm like, yeah, that's a whole food. I'm fine eating that. I don't. That's not part of what I consider when I when I'm telling you about processed food this week. That's not what I'm talking about. Right. Um, I'm talking more about cooks, uh, cookies and candies and cakes and you know foods that are really manipulated. Um, I, what I said on Monday when I talked about it, when they take the actual nutrients out of the food, you know, that's when I consider it processed. When there's when the nutrients that belong in the food are no longer there, then I'm like, okay, that's a processed food. Right. So that's what it means to me. Obviously, you'd have to decide what processed food means to you. Uh, turn the package over, look at the ingredients. Um, we have uh, organic dried mangoes right now that literally the only ingredient in the package is organic dried mangoes. And Russ does eat them. I was just going to say, so I'm not trying to say I won't eat those types of foods. I won't eat cakes and cookies and donuts. Right. But I will eat dried mangoes. I will eat, I make the wheat bread. Mm -hmm. Whole Which wheat flour bread. flour is with ground. Flour. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So, I mean, it's not like I won't eat those. I just like to have an understanding of, okay, this is how I separate them, and, and I just want to be aware of this is what I'm eating. Them. So. Right. Okay, fair enough. Um, so then on Tuesday, we talked about why does processed food make you fat, and that it, it comes down to there's no nutrients in it, and so your body, you can eat it, and there's lots of calories, mm -hmm. um, but there's no nutrients, so then your body is still like, well, that was great, but I need some nutrients, feed me more, and so if you continue to, to eat processed food when you're hungry... And, and this is processed food that you get at fast food joints. It's processed food that you get at restaurants. Basically, if you are eating something that is prepared by someone other than someone you know in a home, um, it's probably processed. It's going to be loaded with fat, sugar, and salt, and it's not going to have nutrients in it. So you're going to need way more of it because your body's going to feel like I'm not getting nutrients, and that's how you're going to end up putting on the you know the fluff around the middle because you're not getting nutrients. So your body's going to continue to be hungry, and that's how processed food um, makes you fat. That's what you would call a vicious cycle. It is, absolutely. So then on Wednesday we talked about, is processed food really that bad for you? And, you know, it goes back to there's no nutrients in it and there's salt, sugar, and fat in it, which are, are not healthy for you. And so yeah, the bottom line for that one is yes. And if you want the details as to why it's that bad for you, uh, go ahead and, and listen to Wednesday because we did have a, a pretty long conversation about why processed food is bad for you. Yesterday we talked about why is processed food addictive? Mm -hmm. And... It, the, <laughs> yeah, I know, Laura, you love it when I say fluffy. It makes you fluffy. Um, <laughs> 
But processed food is addictive because it is designed to make a company money. That's what it's supposed to do. It is not designed to nourish your body. It's not designed for anything other than to make a company money. And the best way for them to make money is to make food that your brain says, oh yeah, give me more of that. And the bottom line of that is it's, that makes it addictive. So the salt, sugar, and fat in the proportions that they put in processed food are designed, engineered specifically by the science to hit your brain receptors that say, yes, that's good for me, give me more. And I bet you just can't eat one. Yep, exactly. They even market it to us that way. You know, that it's designed that way. So processed food is absolutely addictive in the way that it hits your uh, dopamine receptors, it hits your pleasure centers in your brain, and it tells your brain, yes, give me more of that, which is why you can sit down and eat an entire bag or box of cookies or chips and then go, oh my goodness, I ate the whole thing. That's because your brain has no turn off because it's addictive. Give me more, give me more. Yep. And then the bonus thing that I wanted to share with you guys today is that why is processed food so cheap? Mm -hmm. Right? It's got all these things done to it. How can it possibly be that processed food that has all this stuff done to it is cheap? And again, the point is it's designed to make a company money. And so they want to use the cheapest ingredients they can find, put them together in the easiest way they can find, and sell it at a price point that makes it super easy for people to think this is inexpensive food. And a good example of that is you look at ingredients now, you no longer see pure cane sugar. Mm -hmm. You see high fructose corn syrup, mm -hmm. which is very inexpensive compared to sugar. It's very inexpensive and it tastes sweeter. Right. So double double whammy for the food companies. They get to use something that's cheaper and it, it's um, more addictive for you. Right. Who would have thought we'd, we'd be looking for the ingredients that actually say pure cane sugar on it? As, a, as opposed to right. anything else. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So it's cheap because it's designed to be easy. It's designed for the masses to be able to buy. And the, the argument, and I mentioned this earlier in the week, the argument that the food companies use is that processed food was never meant to be a staple. It was meant to be a treat, something you use when you need something quick, mm -hmm. something that, you know, just easy to grab and that it's our fault, our being the public fault, that we have turned it into this staple that we use every single day. Hey Trish, it's good to see you. Morning, Thank Trish. you for the thumbs up. Um, so they, their excuse is not our problem, that's your problem. And that's the reality. They're going to do whatever they have to do to make money. And we have to be responsible for taking control of our health destiny. And that means recognizing, you know, that processed food is bad for us, that it's going to make us fat, that it's designed to make them money, not nurture our bodies. And we need to start choosing to eat things that are going to be nourishment for our bodies, like whole foods. Whole foods. We tell you that all the time. Eat whole foods. Don't eat the processed stuff because... You know, it, it's just not doing you any favors. So that's what I had to say about processed food. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Uh, no, I think we've said it all this week. So if you've missed one of them, go back a couple of days. and They're all there. They're all there. And there's also a video of me chopping kale. Yes. <laughs> It uh, seems to be very it's, popular. It's lurking out there. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you're getting value out of these, please do like them, comment, share. If you're watching it um, in the, the encore presentation of it, please give us a thumbs up or say something. I know we get a lot more views than we get engagement. And that means that it, it, there's value, but if you don't engage, then other people don't get to see it because the Facebook algorithm says, oh, this must be boring. So please do like and share. We are on Instagram. We, are on, we have a Facebook page. Make sure you like that. And we are on YouTube. Those are places you can find us and our content. Um, our website, our business website is rnrjourney.com, the same as the hashtag that I have up there in the top. And if you are interested in our free webinar, it is called How to Feed a Human, and you can find it at howtofeedahuman.com, the other hashtag I have up there at the right. top. So is there anything else I need to tell them? I think that's it. All right. And Laura, you have a great weekend as well. Yeah, Laura, Trish, have a great weekend. Yes, Thank exactly. you so much. And so with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.